Cancer does touch everyone. My father died of cancer. Two grandmothers died of cancer. And uh, best friend died of cancer. Best friend died of cancer as well. So cancer touches us all. My paternal grandmother also passed away of cancer. Simmons Cancer Institute is truly a world-class regional facility. It is just truly outstanding. My law firm started off as a firm that fights for cancer victims. And so I was earning a living representing on the legal side cancer victims. So it was only right that we try to help with care and research. My name's Lisa Van Ravensway. I am a cancer survivor, along with my sister here. My name's Beth. I am a cancer survivor. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and my I told, probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do was tell my family. And she discovered that she had a lump too. I was at work, and you get that phone call. You know, you already had the biopsy, you're waiting for your results, and then they call you and say, you need to come into the office. Um, Lisa and I were both HER2 positive with our breast cancer, so the research that had been done already um, provided us with a, um, a chemo drug called Herceptin. Mm -hmm. And if we didn't have that, then we may not be here today. Mm -hmm. It's not about us, it's about everyone. We're still here. That's right, we are still here. <laughs> <laughs> so. We lost my father, Theotis Johnson, on August 4th, 2012. My father passed away from lung cancer. It was pretty devastating to find out that one of your loved ones have, has cancer. He had very high hopes. I mean, he was so optimistic. He knew this was something that he was going to be. Early diagnosis really means that you can have um, a better opportunity to be cured from cancer. So we really hope for that in the future. And I really appreciate all the hard work that researchers have gone and expanded their lives into fighting to find a cure for cancer. When I uh, first found out I had cancer, um, I actually thought I had appendicitis. <laughs> and I went to the, uh, the doctor uh, that night and uh, sure enough, it was, uh, it was testicular cancer. Luckily, I had a lot of friends around me, a lot of support uh, from family. Um, my mom pretty much moved to Chicago for uh, three or four months while I was going through surgery and treatment and everything. Um, cancer research is, uh, is huge. I didn't know much about it before I was diagnosed with cancer, um, but I'm really uh, you know, thankful that there was a lot going on before I found out I had mine. Um, and learning about the history of it and how far it's come, I, you know, two years out um, of cancer, I, uh, uh, I'm doing great. I'm, you know, everything is totally healthy. I'm totally good. And so um, it's amazing what they've been able to do in such a short amount of time. We went to the emergency room because she had croup and we went back to her normal doctor for a follow-up visit and they did a full body exam and 10 hours later, she was being diagnosed with stage three Wilms tumor. This was Thursday and they said, we need to admit her Monday night and we are going to operate on her Tuesday morning. Once they opened her up, it ended up being connected to her lung and her liver. They were just gonna have to biopsy the tumor and sew her back up and start chemo to shrink the tumor. Why her? Out of everyone, why her? It was awful. It was awful because there was nothing I could do to help her. I just had to sit back and let all the doctors do the best that they could. Every day I'm so thankful that she's still here with me. I'm Dr. Shaheen Alani. I'm the uh, Director of Urologic Oncology at the Division of Urology at Southern Illinois University School of Medicine. Nationwide, uh, scientific researchers who are depending on the National Institute of Health for their funding lost uh, most of their funding within the past two years. This, there's about 20% of researchers who lost their funding within the past two years. This is in addition to the fact that the National Institute of Health has reduced its budget, its overall budget, by about 25% since 2004. Therefore, privately funded medical research is helping us cover that deficit in um, governmental funding, and it's helping us to continue finding cancer. So please join us. Join us. Join, join us. us. Raise your hand for hope. Raise your hand for hope. Raise your hand for hope. For hope. For, for hope. hope. Raise your hand for hope. Join, Join us. us. Raise, Raise your, your hand, hand for hope. hope.